<laughs> Trish, I struggle this time of year. I'm very, very tired. I feel like my motivation is, is a lot lower. Why is this? As human beings, we are designed to live by nature. So we are designed that in the summer, when the sun is up until late, you know, we're supposed to be out there, hunter-gatherers, looking after our crops in the sunlight. When it gets dark, we go to sleep. And that applies in the winter. So when it gets dark at four, we still haven't actually, as humans, adapted to 24-hour lifestyle. So part of us wants to go to sleep when the sun goes down. We want to rest, we want to just digest our food, but instead, it's 2023, we're all out there living 24-hour lifestyles, we're on our laptops, we're on our computers, we're at work, we're socialising, we're trying to live this dream life, and we're just not adapted for it. It makes it sound like the life that we live is quite artificial, we're trying to artificially uh, supplement a lifestyle which, like you said, is not meant by our nature. We are. When you look at indigenous tribes people who are still living very much by nature, they don't have the illnesses that we've got. They don't have a lot of the mental illnesses that we've got. They're just living life the way that we lived it thousands of years ago. And although we feel that we're intellectually adapting, maybe our intelligence has led us further than actually our physiology and our body is capable of going. So how do we start to take back a little bit of nature uh, into our life? Go out in it more, literally, whether you're walking, running, even this time of year, a lot of people won't go out because it's cold. The best thing to do, wrap up warm, get yourself out there, walk in nature. You don't have to walk far, you don't have to walk fast, you don't have to be that physically fit. Just get outside and just notice your surroundings. Or if you're a runner, go out and run in the winter. Running in the winter, you're so in touch with your whole, your body, you'll feel every part of your body come alive if you're running in the winter. There's so many people now into the whole cold water, the Wim Hof cold water thing. It wakens up our body. Being out in the cold wakes us up. And we're running away from it and trying to stay in our warm, centrally heated houses and keep away from it when actually our bodies actually need the weather. So you must find, because you're a life coach as well as a counsellor, you often find that you, although you're focusing on specific complaints from your clients in terms of their symptoms or how they're feeling, do you often also find that you have to coach their general lifestyle at the same time? Yeah, everything's about lifestyle for all of us. All of us have the answers to a lot of our issues inside us and a lot of it is basic and we just ignore what we already know. We have the answers. We know that we ought to be getting out in nature. We know a lot of the things we ought to be doing. And we're overriding that day after day after day. And then when our bodies are complaining, going, hang on a minute, I'm not okay. We're overriding that as well. So we're not even listening to the warning signs. And people only go to coaches, they only go to counsellors, they only go to trainers when they've got to the point where they're like, oh, I actually don't know what to do. I've overridden this so many times. I've hit a brick wall and I don't know what to do. And if someone needs that help to try and structure the, the chaos of their life and, and the, the poor feelings that they're having in their mind, how can they get in contact with you? Just contact Revitalise Clinic. Um, ask for a half hour telephone consultation and we can have a chat about what you're looking for and how we can help you with it. Thanks, Trish.